it's warm on this yacht. So I'm going to get that and I'm going to um, varnish it because there's no glass on it, it's just a bare map. Um, it's about 8 foot by 5 foot. So I'm just going to make a, a wall feature out of it. But same again, it's completely out of date. And it's not a radio one, it's just a world map. But it, 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 it enhances the shack, shall we say. That's all you can say in it. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll hand it back to you, Stu, but I just wonder whether Frank's back. M6 TFE. On Mark. He's back. So where have you got this uh, ginormous map from? It was out of the foyer in an office that we were working that was being reconditioned. And uh, the builder just said to me, do you want this? Well, he didn't actually say it to me. It was one of the other lads that was working there. If I'm on the wagon, I'll take it by me. If he doesn't want it, I'll throw in a skip. So he's sat in the office on end since then, facing the wall. He doesn't even... So he didn't get any, any marks on it. <laughs> just, a, just a dead quick one here, Frank. When I've done a long over, as in a couple of minutes over, which, which happens when we're sat here, when they unkey, the um, it's as though it's the RF, the RF gains turned up and it turns itself back down. Is that normal? Got your uh, GC, you plonker. Are you on floor here, GC? No, I put it on fast. That was my first thought, but on short hours it is it's straight back up there. It's on the longer hours it, it has to creep back up. Only over a, about a second, but I may miss the first word or the first half a word. So that was the first thing I looked at the AGC and turned it up to fast. And then I tried to, but it doesn't seem to make any difference on uh, when we're on two over. Great, that's how we do it. Ah, uh, too quick off the key. We're being a bit too quick to arm a draw. Oh, it's your bloody roll, bloody lever, bloody balls then. The bloody roll, bloody shot, bloody lever, bloody balls, uh, the bloody fucker that wrong took it. I'll tell you what it might be. Um, I, I've only just realised. I have a tendency to turn the RF gain um, down on it. You know, to cut any background noise. Uh, it might be just that. It might just be that I should have the RF gain completely open. You need that bike ride off. RF gain bike ride off and your AGC on fast. That's how I have my on me. On me now. I don't bother with RFK, yeah, fuck the car, that's what I don't use, fuck. Same here. I've never bloody touched it, mate. Oh, I do. When I'm on two, I can uh, I can turn up a little bit, and it, it sounds, it, it mellows out every uh, hour, it's a nice sound. I, I think it's just that I'm not used to it. Well, the end of the day, I'm playing with you, you're both at least 20 decibels over. So I can put the RFK in to its optimum level, I can put it on almost on a 7 or a 9. Uh, and there's no background noise at all, but it's probably that, isn't it, that I'm doing? Yeah, you just back everything off. Just put your GC on fast or off, so, and just back your RF gear and write it down so it's not doing anything. Yeah, well, that's, that's what I've done now, and it, on that last over, it was it was right. You came straight back in when you started speaking, Frank. Yeah, problem solved. Thanks, chaps. Yeah, but you did make it that French guy, didn't you? I've got no interest in him, to be honest, I'm talking to my teammate. <laughs> and you two have got your ears fully open, so I'm sure one of you two would have told me. Well, there you go, you see. Or if games are only good on CBs. Well, no, I wouldn't know. <laughs> um, no, I, I use it sometimes. If, uh, if I put it on uh, the scan and it's, it's just going through the band, checking through the band, I use the RFK and I think, well, anything below, anything that's not actually three and three and above, I'm not going to be able to talk to anyway, so he just takes them out over. Yeah, I'll just drop one of my pills. Oh, shit. Just a minute. Oh, oh I've got it. Yeah, all this game is close then with the days, weren't they, Stuart? Oh, all this game, you down. Have to close now, you're not getting in. Uh, on about two days, I found some of the old uh, CB lights. How many people up there? Bloody hell. Gotta get them on Antiques Roadshow. Christ, Stuart, come on. Craig, you know. Yeah, still got the CB lights. It's great, Roger. How much were they back in the day? I can't remember off the top of my head, I think it's going to try to do an amateur light. Oh, I don't do it, see ya. Thank you.
there was a uh, 10 quid money on what was there, so on two foot. Well, we'd want to be uh, 81 and after that, aren't we? Oh dear, oh, I don't know. Christ. You ought to turn them to a club and show them around. Well, just, I bet all this got it, and then none of them would want Ah, CB license, uh, I had one, two, three, four, I don't know if it was. I didn't even know they had to be licensed, I'll be honest with you. I, uh, I always thought CB was free, and you were, were you limited to four watts? Was it four watts you were like, allowed to use legally over? Oh, I had proper radio. Ah, uh, I went to give it up, because I had to be it. the CB for about 10 years. Well, we won't see you. We want the SPC specification. We want AM, SSB, for example. Yes, they're going to turn out to drive. You can have CB. We want to give you this amazing for example, the FM only. Four watts of output. We can put two tenors, drive for two jump tenors. So we'll have 10 years of uh, ERP. Uh, I never 
quite met any of us having on an eyeball once uh, me and my mate to bury and um, yeah we ended up kind of like realising that this girl was the girl and we were like no way man and we just did what Scary <laughs> <laughs> America, number 30, I'm telling you. I'm all, I'm all. Come on, GNZ, sit out there picking your door. Yeah, well, me and my mate was probably about 40 or something like that, and this, this girl was there with a pram and everything. He was just like, what? You're <laughs> looking for the dad. <laughs> been on some of golden earring, that's one to remember. We had a golden earring in Everton. Yeah, my sister had golden earring during the circuit. <laughs> got a friend the old said, Frank, on, no. Do what everybody's talking, what did he say, Arlong? I said, is that, uh, is that a, a friend of yours? No, 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 I never went that outside of it, lad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I bet he's no one left alive now, is he? He's in kind of uh, bubble, yeah. Oh, there's one or two at town, lads, still knocking about, I know. There's still one or two still knocking about, telling you. But the progress are all playing amateurs now. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, I, I, um, I plugged into this microphone today. Um, you know, one of them old PAs. Speakers, tannoy things that you'd have like on top of a van or whatever. I plugged one of them in today, over. Oh, good luck, interested. No, you, you would have loved it. Would have loved it. Oh, in fact, I could try another one. Now, hang on a second, I'll try another one on you and see what this one does. Hang on a second, I'll just plug this in here. I'm going to you, lads. Right, what's that say right now, over? I'm going to the I can hear you, Ryan. <laughs>
when it goes into one of the nine cigarette lighter things.